Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log and I've got a lot to show you because I've done a lot this week. Uh, the first thing you might notice is this new terrain model that I've made. I've been able to make this because I've increased the size of the terrain tiles so now I can make some more interesting landforms. Also this week, multi-texturing, I've finished it. You can see the pink flower texture here and also the green grass white flower texture here, they merge nicely together. We've got another example of it over here, we've got the, the stone texture here merging nicely into the rest of the grass and this is done using alpha maps or maybe they're called texture maps, I'm not sure, which is basically another texture uh, which contains information as to where the other textures should be displayed on the terrain. It's a bit hard to explain but actually it's a fairly simple concept. Also you might be able to see that the resolution of the textures looks a bit higher this week but this is actually because I've just tiled the textures over the terrain tiles which means that they are repeated multiple times which is a lot faster than loading up one big high resolution texture to cover a whole terrain. Instead I can load up uh, a small like 256 by 256 texture and then just repeat it all over the tile and it looks like it's high resolution but actually it's just a small texture repeated. Also specular mapping you could see there but it's just gone because it's turned from night so I'll just speed it up to day. Specular mapping allows me to specify which parts of a texture are shiny so that I can have some parts of objects shining and some parts not. So you can see here that we've got the, the path reflecting some light but the rest of the terrain model is not because it's grass and grass is not shiny. And this will be quite useful in the future for when I'm making objects such as maybe like swords and I want the blade to be shiny but I don't want the handle to be shiny. So I can encode this into the texture which is what I'm doing at the moment and uh, yeah that will work nicely. Also this week I added support for textures that have transparency in them. If you have a look I'm using this texture here which has transparency in the background and I'm using it to make this simple plant model on the floor which is just two planes crossing over not quite in the middle I must admit. I didn't quite get that right but I'll uh, sort that out for next week. But yeah you can imagine that they should be crossing over in the middle and then this would be a very simple low polygon plant. Um, you can see it working fairly well here where the texture had uh, transparency you can see right through it which is as you would expect and this will be great to use in the future for like leaves on trees and yeah more plants and grass on the floor. It was actually fairly simple to do in the fragment shader I just test the value of the alpha value of the texture and if it's less than say 0.1 then I just discard that fragment completely and it just doesn't render anything and you can see right through it which is perfect. So yeah that's all the updates I've done this week. Uh, for next week I will be working on possibly glowing objects, possibly multiple lighting uh, but we'll see how that goes, see if I'm clever enough to get that done. But yeah, that is all for this week, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, link to my Twitter account is in the description below, if you want to follow me on Twitter there will be a load of more exclusive videos and pictures on there. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, I will see you all next week.